Welcome everyone. My name is Sean Jones and I'm the CEO of the iNetrepreneur Network. And today I'm excited because I have a unique, very talented and gifted individual. She is the owner of Reach for More. I have with me today, Danielle Ditburner. Danielle, welcome. Thank you so much, Sean. I am so happy to be here. Danielle, I love meeting new people because through the through meeting each other, we learn a lot about how we're making differences in this in the world today. And I always love to get to know the person behind the business. Tell us a little bit about who is Danielle. Hmm, that's a great question. Um, I feel like there's a loaded answer there. I am definitely a heart centered passion-driven, creative individual. Um, much like yourself, I love being able to connect with people. And I feel that connection with people really brings out a different dynamic of understanding who we are internally. And it allows us to really create a life of vibrance and beauty because we're reflections of one another. What I see in you is also a reflection of what I see in myself. And I get to know myself better by being able to understand who you are. And the more I understand who I am, the more I can understand you. So um, that's a really big focus for me. Um, like I said, I love to create. One of my biggest passions is painting, which is, you know, behind me here is all of my original uh, creations. And I really love being able to kind of introduce any kind of creativity to different aspects of my life, whether that's in relationships or um, even in my exercise that I do in the way that I'm engaging with nature. I like to play games. I love to just be really present and mindful of how I'm living my life and bringing art and creativity and connection with others is how I do that best. I, I love it. Art. I love art. I love creativity, nature. Uh, your pieces that you have are just beautiful. Have you been an artist all of your life? Um, I would say, yeah. Yeah. Ever since I was a small child, I would find a way to create, whether that was drawing, finger painting, um, playing in the sand or in the dirt or creating things that I would find in nature. Um, I've, I've just always been a very hands-on tactical, uh, creating a vision with my hands. Mm -hmm. And you use your artistry to also help others. And you are the owner of Reach for More. Yes. Share with us, what what is your company? What do you do? Yeah, so I am a life transformation coach. And so Reach for More focuses more on individual and business uh, coaching and transformation. And really what I do with that is I help individuals sharpen their focus on the business of living. So a lot of my background is in the business realm. Um, I've been a social worker. I've been in uh, business banking. I've done executive education and higher education realm before I got into coaching. And when I found coaching, I realized, oh, career wise, this is what I've been after my entire life. I've always loved to help people. It goes back to that connection. And I realized I can help people be the best versions of themselves and really engage in life by pulling some of those dynamics of my business background into creating a life as an entrepreneur mm -hmm. or being a lifepreneur. So um, I do a lot of my coaching based off of how do we develop self-mastery and cultivate a greater consciousness of the self. Mm -hmm. And I do that by following the four dynamics of the physical body, the emotional heart-centered body, the mind, the thoughts, as well as the spiritual body. So those four areas, um, we focus on that, on the internal aspect of that, as well as the external and how you engage in life outside of yourself. So that's 
with career, that's with your relationships, mm -hmm. that's with your entertainment and your creativity, the way that you create, as well as um, just your physical environment. Mm -hmm. When people come to you, they're obviously coming to you for a variety of areas within their, their self, their life, their business, and they're finding they're wanting something different. There's some things obviously in their, their ways, it's kind of like holding them back. They, they're, it's like something's just beyond their reach. And while you work with a variety of clients, what are some like top reasons that people that you're seeing right now are really coming to you and saying, I need help. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unfortunately that's happening a lot right now. Um, and I'm finding that most of it is that we all collectively have kind of got stuck in this cycle of looking externally to try to fill ourselves up, um, to, to look at how can I be successful in life? How can I have this great career, this great relationship? How can I have balance between work and life? How can I have everything? And we tend to get overwhelmed and overstressed. So it's more about um, people just feeling like there is this overwhelm of life. Mm -hmm. And so they come to me saying, "How? what can you help me with? Like, I need help. I don't know what it is. You know, I feel like I've been doing all of the right things. I've been ambitious. I'm going after my dreams. I'm working on the relationships in my life, but I still just don't have it. I don't have that peace of mind. I don't have that solitude. I don't have um, that way of accessing joy or um you know, really being able to manage my energy and I'm stuck in overwhelm. And so, you know, I understand that we all understand that. And I think that, um, there is a little bit of a thread of trauma that is intertwined with all of that, because we all experience trauma. Mm -hmm. And a lot of what I do is I just act as a mirror and being able to help people see the deeper, more rooted construct of how their traumas in past life, or um, even if it's more recent, how that has kind of created um, a subconscious way of being with their thoughts, with their behaviors, with their attitudes, mm -hmm. that is actually creating that block. Mm -hmm. That's from getting to what they really want to be experiencing in life and really living at a fuller construct. Um, and so that work is, is really going more internal mm -hmm. and seeing who we are on the inside, who we are from a heart centered way of being and how we're creating some of our own blocks in um, being able to really be fully who we are and embodying our spirit into our, our human experience of life. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would agree. You mentioned earlier, prior to this, uh, traumas are, are kind of gifts, you know, they, they teach yeah. us something. And yes. with that gift, sometimes we, at, in that moment, we look at it and go, Oh, what did I just do? What did I just receive? But mm -hmm with your style and your coaching, you're able to help your clients look at it from a different lens. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that that's something that a lot of people can relate to and understand. Um, we know what post-traumatic stress disorder is, mm -hmm. right? Every right. single one of us through life, if we haven't experienced it yet, that's great. But at some point, we all experience traumas in our life. That's just part of life. And unfortunately, a symptom or a um, effect of that is post-traumatic stress disorder. What I like to 
do is working with people to experience post-traumatic growth. And that is a buzzword that many people don't know about. And it's a real phenomenon. And it's really about using our trauma and being able to look at our trauma from a lens of how can I receive this gift as a way to ignite my transformation and my growth. Mm -hmm. And really that I believe that's what they're there for. And they're very hard to receive at first and experience. Absolutely. But on the other side of it, the strength and the resilience and the ability that we actually can open up and manifest in a whole different way of being as a result of that trauma. I mean, that trauma happened to propel us into our evolution Mm -hmm. as a, as a being. So I love to be able to work with people through their traumas so that they can experience that post-traumatic growth and really transform the way that they are living their lives as a result. When you work with clients? Do you work with them on an individual basis? Do you work with, uh, in a group situation when, what would somebody, when they come to you knowing that they need help with their, uh, post growth, their transformation, how do you work with your clients? I primarily work with them one-on-one on on an individual setting. Um, I have worked with couples to do some relationship work as well as small groups. So that that could sometimes look like families. Um, I've only done that a couple of times. Um, that's more specific if we're actually working through something together. Um, but I tend to work with groups as far as uh, organizations like small businesses Mm-hmm. And being able to develop a really rich culture so that their purpose and their mission of what they're trying to accomplish in the world can really have a solid foundation to that. Um, and sometimes I can work with groups of like minded people. So doing like group coaching containers, um, if we have a specific topic that we're trying to uh, just kind of work on and being able to create community with like-minded people. Mm -hmm. So those are the various ways that I work with individuals. You, you offer quite a few different ways. It sounds like working with, with people. Do you have any upcoming projects or courses or books, anything that you'd like to share to, you know, keep us on our toes? Yes. Yes. I'm actually, um, currently in the process of writing my first solo book um, that is about being able to release traumas and go through that post-traumatic growth stage using creativity as a modality of that. Um, I'm really, really excited about this. There's so much richness to it. It's definitely not going to be a light read, but it is something that is really going to create a lot of positive impact where people can get in touch with their emotions more and be able to be, be that transmission and that, that um, transmission of energy so that they can have that life that they've been desiring forever. Um, that will be published this year. Um, That is something that is at the top of my list. I am also developing a retreat this year that is called Return to Innocence and that it's going to be a small, small group, um, no more than 20 people where we meet together in person and we do some of that deep inner workings behind, you know, what are some of the root causes that have kept us from really living a fulfilling life. And let's lean into and foster that inner child um, and provide some of that inner healing that we needed whenever we were children. Mm -hmm. Um, So that we can bring that kind of childlike mentality back to the surface and have fun and play and engage in life again. So um, those are those are the two major things that I'm working on this year. 
Um, I, I'm just so excited about them. You should. I mean, those are those are huge. I mean, you're helping make uh, helping others achieve where they want to be and desire in their lives and in their businesses. You have the retreat coming out in your book. If somebody would like to find out more about your coaching or they want to be the first in line to get your book or even sign up for your upcoming retreat, how can someone get in contact with you? Yeah, thank you. The best way that they can get in touch with me would be first by um, going to my website. My website is www.reachformore.com. And that's the number four. So reach for more. Um, they can also send me an email at danielle at reachformore.com. Um, or they can give me a phone call. My phone number is 812-325-7584. I love having personal conversations with people and just really let's have a conversation. I would rather have a conversation than, um, and that can be even through an email or a text message than for people to just, you know, be out there wondering like, ah, I don't know what the next step is. Well, Danielle, I want to thank you so much for, for you being here today, present, sharing what you're doing to help make a true difference in the lives of the masses across the world. Thank you so much. No, thank you, Sean. It's been great. For those of you who have just watched, I interviewed Danielle Ditburner. She is the owner of Reach for More. She is also an author contributor in the third book in the Legacy series, Art of Connection, 365 Days of Transformational Quotes. 